Good morning and uh, welcome to this session which is dedicated to Destination One, staying healthy in a rapidly changing society. And the code that is published now with uh, the work program of 23, the Silver Deal, <coughs> person-centered care uh, and health in European regions. Uh, first of all, I, I hope that you have um, had the opportunity to watch the presentation of this destination and of the topic in advance uh, so that we could um, today uh, focus on answering any questions that you might have uh, in relation to this particular topic. Um, in the meantime, uh, while we are waiting for your questions, I would shortly um, recap what Destination One is about and also the topic of the Silver Deal. So Destination One, as its title says, uh, staying healthy in a rapidly changing society is really a um, destination that uh, promotes uh, active and healthy lives. Uh, it promotes uh, well-being and the prevention of complex diseases. It also looks um, uh, at the adoption of new, uh, innovative, digitally enabled solutions to sustain healthy lives, uh, well-being, whether physical or mental health. This destination also focuses on um, empowering citizens to um, look uh, after themselves, to manage their health um, and also to trust technologies through also um, health literacy and better health uh, skills and we will have several topics in this destination uh, in work program 23, 24. Now in 23 we only have one topic. As I said, this is the Silver Deal. Um, person-centered health and care in European regions. Um, this topic um, is um, with a budget of 40 million. It's a research and innovation action. And we at the Commission expect uh, that the proposal that will be uh, submitted and, uh, and evaluated would have a budget of approximately 15 to 20 million uh, per action. As you can see, this is a very big budget and so is the ambition of this uh, particular topic. The Commission has previously funded uh, many topics related to the development of innovative solutions for health and care, in particular to the older population. And at this stage, we are looking forward really to promote their adoption, their large scale um, use by citizens, uh, health uh, professionals, and um, to also uh, really bring those solutions to all European re regions. Um, and uh, therefore, this, the, this ambitious call um, the first and maybe, of course, most evident um, aim of the call is to consolidate effective, uh, integrated, evidence-based um, um, solutions for the delivery of uh, health and care um, to older citizens. Uh, it also um, consequently looks um, at the improvement and uh, better equipment of uh, primary care and uh, community-based care so that they could tackle uh, better um, the development of non-communicable diseases or uh, complex diseases and multimorbidities. Um, this call aims uh, also to empower um, older citizens to trust and use technologies and new solutions 
to look after themselves no matter what their in physical, mental uh, impairment is. Uh, and the solutions, of course, uh, are of uh, all different um, ranges. Those could be uh, ranging from robotics to uh, ambient sensors to monitoring devices and activity trackers. The, the range of technologies uh, is unlimited. Um, what is really very important in this call is the involvement of all stakeholders uh, that are needed to um, develop and mostly to adopt and deploy such solutions at regional level, namely not only uh, citizens of older age, uh, but also health professionals um, and also uh, public authorities and of course innovators and researchers so that the results of this particular action would be sustainable in time. Um, yes, um, I see that there are some questions. Um, so the first one that I see are funds allocated for the preparation of the proposal. Well, unfortunately, normally there are no funds allocated to the preparation of the proposals. Um, at least not uh, from the Commission. Um, I have a second question here. Is there any TRL range for the for this uh, particular call? Uh, that's a very relevant question, given the ambition and the very strong focus on adoption. Of course, uh, this is, is a logical uh, question. Uh, we are not um, putting uh, any criteria for the TRL uh, range of, of this uh, call. However, given um, the scope and the need to uh, reply to all the elements of the of the scope of this uh, call, uh, one could assume that the TRL might be uh, higher uh, and not and not and and that the solution is already advanced and uh, probably also to some extent tested. Um, Yes, I see another question. Uh, would the involvement of large companies, industry, be looked upon favorable by the evaluators or should the focus be on SMEs? Uh, that's a very good question. And again, um, of course, we always welcome SMEs and we are uh, promoting um, innovators and we really much look into promoting innovation at local and, and, and regional uh, level and from smaller SMEs. However, if there are large companies um, that are interested in this, uh, in this call and in submitting any proposal, this is, of course, there is absolutely nothing to stop you. So, of course, go ahead. Um, and a last question now that I see is the development of new technological solutions wearables in the scope or is it more about the deployment of the existing technological and digital solutions? Um, very good question. Um, the, the scope is really more on the deployment uh, where there is a research component because it is indeed a research and innovation action. Uh, it is more on the um, create and uh, evidence-based uh, health and care de delivery pathways and models. So how to make sure that those uh, different solutions would be adopted, whether by citizens or by health professionals. I see no more questions coming. Um, uh, thanks a lot, uh, really, for your attention, for your questions. If you have any further questions, um, please um, consult the FAQ or you are always, always welcome to um, ask your national contact points. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, wishing you a good day. No.